help you guys out there doing lessons. This is your DME. This is your Com 2. And Nav 2. And here you can put in with your OBS uh, to pick up your headings for your VOR radials and your CDI. So the idea is we go to a DME first. We put the DME on. We frequency change to the DME frequency and the VOR frequency on the chart. The large knob is for the big numbers, the small knob is for the small numbers, i.e. the decimal. Okay, once that is on, uh, we can then do AUX1. AUX1 will then allow you to ident the DME, uh, i.e. the Morse code. And then once you've established the Morse code and you know that you're tuned into the correct one, i.e. identified, you can then press AUX2 off. Uh, AUX1 off, apologies. Uh, and then in your COM2, you can do COM2NAV, uh, put in the frequency again in the same manner, uh, switch to the live side, so that'll bring the numbers over to this side, and that'll be the frequency obviously of the VOR, and then the VOR you can then tune in with your to or from flag, uh, and the radial, so you can either get a fixed position from the VOR, or you can fly to a radial or from a radial. Once you've put in that, uh, the CDI will obviously move either left or right, determining which way you have to fly to intercept that given radial. And when you fly, you will see on here, uh, on your DI, uh, there are intercept markers at 45 degrees, and you can therefore move your heading bug. Uh, so input the heading, fly the heading input the heading, fly the heading. Once you're flying that heading, you can then intercept that to the left or the right by 45 degrees until your CDI actually centralizes. Once it centralizes, you know that you're obviously with that VOR line, that radial, and then you can fly that heading. And then with the DME, uh, the DME will obviously give you a distance you are from the DME. Therefore, you could pick up, for example, uh, devices which is on the 255 radial from the Compton VOR at 29 or 29 nautical miles. So you will have up here 29 for the nautical miles, the frequency for the DME. In here you'll have the frequency for the VOR. You will ident using NAV2 or AUX1 and you will fly the heading, input the heading, fly the heading, make sure you got your to or from, fly your heading, intercept either left or right depending on your CDI. Um, and then once you've intercepted that at 45 degrees, you can then obviously fly the heading.